you know, I do find it hilarious sometimes to think that <laughs> I'm living in the most up market areas in the countryside in the UK. <laughs> I don't pay any council tax and I don't pay any rent. It's, I was going to say the F word. It's bloody, it is just bloody hilarious, isn't it? Really? It's, it's, you just think it's, it's just a matter of, not living in a house, living in a van, sleeping in the back. You do find the, uh, the quiet places like out in the countryside. Cause it's not like the town where every square meter is designated and has like lines painted on it and flashing lights and bloody, I don't know, linked to the internet. So if you breathe in the wrong direction, you'll receive a fine in the post, if not electrocuted on the spot. There are places, there are, like right now, this car park's free. And uh, there's a pub, a little, I can hear the people just about <laughs> drinking till a certain time. Behind me, it's just, you know, it's suburbia. And uh, the crows actually uh, nest in the trees uh, above the car park. So as the sun's going down and uh, as I wake in the morning, you just hear the all the crows flying above. It's really nice to wake up to. And uh, You know, sometimes like things in life, they're just that simple, aren't they? I remember all the shite jobs that I had to suffer for many, many years. And I was in the uh, the back of a van. There was a few of us working for a window cleaning company. And uh, one of the guys sat in the front and said, you know, it's really easy to start a window cleaning company. All you need is like, you know, a bucket, a ladder, you know, a few bits and pieces, van just deliver some leaflets and, you know, you're off. It was like a light bulb, like, ding, went off above my head. It's like it's that simple. Now, it might not be glamorous. Um, has a way of keeping you fitter than you might be. Although any white van man will tell you about those... Um, little indulgences from time to time i'm doing my best i'm doing my best oh, the fasting though oh i've kind of decided that it's only uh, uh if i look back at my videos when i was running two or three nights a week that was when i was at my leanest so i think i think that's going to be the only solution really yeah the gym oh it's all boring all that so, you know Talk about food, talk about exercise, like, oh, whatever. There's only one thing more boring than that is people talking about their love lives. So now I will switch the subject to, no, don't worry. I've already made a tit out of myself enough. <laughs> but my heart, it still, it still aches for the one, the one with the, uh, the cutest bum. Ah, lockdown, how dare you? What's a man to do? Ah, anyway, just moments like that where it's like, ding, like it's that simple. So I did. I took the company, uh, this, at this point I was a supervisor, I took the company van out uh, on Sundays and... Uh, well, basically, as I was working during the week for the company, people would uh, ask for their windows to be cleaned on the street. And I would, I'll put you on, I said to I'll put you on the Sunday round. So I'd go around with the company vehicle that the company, the company that I used to work for and, uh, and do those customers. And uh, <clears throat> it's boring, really. But um, at the time, married, 
um, buying a house. There was just enough money uh, to survive without working just for a few months. and it, But it only took one month to go from all those years of, uh, you know, security guard to working in, in the, working in factories and warehouses and all the worst jobs really diabolical stuff just soul destroying and whenever there was any hint at some kind of career you'd get excited because you want to get on in life you want to do something you want to but like when you when it began to dawn on one the uh the indoctrination into utter soul death was laid out on on the plate it just wasn't appetizing you know you can't force yourself to uh to be interested if you're not so uh what i am very interested in is listening to heavy metal and interesting spiritual slash historical all that good stuff you know all the subjects related podcasts while i'm working all day and being forced to remain fitter than I would have been. Um, you see, it's exactly the same thing with uh, with leaving absolute hell and poverty. I can't tell you that town that I come from. I've documented it anyway. That town that I come from, the sh the uh, it was really really bad. And uh, now you can't do this unless you're single or divorced. So I'm not being too cocky. And I, you know, I, I understand that. And, uh, you know, I said in the last video that whatever I start, I finish. So I feel that I should say something. I should say, you know what? That's always been true, except for with one thing. And that was um, my marriage. That was the one thing I started and didn't finish. And uh, or, or rather, I did finish it early. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I. Uh, it was my choice, you know, so it's not. It's not like that, but. Um, I think I should really say that if I've previously stated that I always start and finish things. Now, there is one exception. Sometimes with all the best will in the world, things just don't work out, you know, as much as you, you know, as much effort as you put in, you, if you build sand castles, you know, if you build castles out of sand, what's like the Jimi Hendrix line from a song or something comes to mind. Um, <clears throat> fall into the sea, eventually. So again, isn't it? It's about, streamlining everything and i guess you could add to that you know assessing the the longevity um why am i getting all personal tonight not sure but yeah it, it was um it was it was a similar thing with um It's like you're trapped because you're not going to, you know, as a working class guy, you're not going to get offered some high powered job and you haven't got the uh, the necessary training to, you know, become a carpenter or a plumber and, you, and you're not interested either. You know, if you, it's weird how things work out because, um, you know, it's like you can really excel at the things you're interested in, but the things you're not, if you're dragging your heels, it's um, it, it's not going to work out, is it? And the uh, trouble is, if you're looking for uh, most of the things that you're interested in, say, you know, being a creative person, you know, art and music and, you know, all these wonderful things, history and meditation and stargazing, all that good stuff. And um, making love. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not going to, no one's going to offer you money uh, to do these things. 
um, out of the blue. It's um, there are ways in, but it's 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 extremely niche and difficult, isn't it? And um, um, that's complicated. Uh, <clears throat> So, yeah, it's it was it, it really was that simple. You see, because when it comes to beating tracks, is you know, like people said to me, like, "Where are you going to park? Where are you going to park?" That was the most common response. Where are you going to park? You know, some nights I my main problem is um which of the thousand places i could park should i park or would i like to park it's not that difficult um outside of busy you know town centers so again it's it's wonderful to think that i started the window cleaning round in the countryside as it as it's funny how things fit together even though it's been a lot of grief over the years. It's, you know, this uh, this saying that life makes sense in reverse. It could kind of um, be encouragement not to complain about many things that we might go through because it is funny how things work out. Um If you make a leap that is calculated and that you are passionate about and has longevity, uh, you know, I'm speaking as someone who, uh, if you really looked at it um, objectively from most people's point of view, they would see failure. Um, It really is true that if you, <clears throat> if you know in your heart the uh, the truth, it's um, it's not important uh, what most people think. Of course, you know there are some drawbacks you know serious ones right but you know i i feel so lucky to think that because of the practice that i'm involved in and my true passion of my heart is facilitated by the job you know the the lifestyle in terms of the way i choose to live and the location to be able to go out into beautiful woodlands and fields and meditate in nature and to have been able to spend enough time in the particularly special locations to have formed a, a relationship and to have experienced, um, what's the best way to say this? to have been privileged to have befriended the soul of the place and to have experienced that in in vision and dream and to have felt the enhancement of the uh the dragon in the land by not following the uh the usual routes but i do have to say um i have been extremely um there have been a few times where life has really shined upon me and um especially recently with the uh 
uh, the gift of um, a particular individual which is invaluable and uh, will resonate uh, in this lifetime and beyond. You know, so it's always best to always keep that in mind, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the treasures that are solid and very real. No man is an island, they say. Uh, but it helps if you can keep picking yourself up. It helps if you're somewhat independently minded. The whole idea of security as well, like... I'm not paying any money into a pension or anything like that. It's like, it's like the last thing on my, like my main concern is like survival. Fuck, goddamn pension. Like, oh, you know, what are you going to do when you're, when you're older? Well, I've got a few ideas and, um, I'm sure there's a few people who would, uh, help me out. And uh, saying that, there is, um, as well as the treasure that I've already spoken of, there is someone else who's who's really helping helping me out. And uh, the more I think about it, a whole bunch of them, actually. So I just, I'm just so grateful, so grateful. You know, I feel for all the loss in this life. And the ongoing problems and the ongoing attack, which I still need to keep my resolve to see myself through. I do feel so incredibly grateful, so privileged to have. See, this is where the difficulty comes. When it comes to, you know, hermeticism and druidry and the whole shebang, the whole meditation and all that kind of stuff and there's a massive difference between buying a book and getting bored of it halfway through or watching some tv program and actually having the guidance and advice of the best and to have the discrimination to exclude the the dross and to apply yourself but you see what makes the application um, doable, what gives it the extreme longevity, apart from the um, lots of side factors, then the main two reasons are the, um, the gift of instruction in this world and the gift of guidance not of this world and if i just use the term kelto egyptian if i just throw in just that like oh the secretism then that provides a clue if not directing these two principles exactly it, there is um There is a peculiar resonance between the reality and the uh, the birthing, the creation, if you like, the uh, the drawing of Broderick Wallace the Celtic man who travels to Alexandria who comes back to find his homeland devastated
Thank you very much.